Hello families. Uh, today I'm going to introduce you to No Red Ink. This is a site we just recently started using in class in the last like month or so. And the purpose of it is to really improve and master some of the grammar skills that we seem to be missing and we can tell in the writing that students are really struggling with. Right now, they're working on identifying parts of speech, so they have an assignment and a quiz to work on. We did start the assignment prior to spring break. I've extended it through the end of April, so they have plenty of time to work on it. And once they finish the assignment, then they can take the quiz and see you know, how they did on it. Again, it's not something we're doing for a grade, but it's a good skill that we need to be working on mastering. Once they access the link through Google Classroom and they're signed in, they're going to see a page like this that shows what their assignments are. If they get to point like they don't see it and they click on home, it's going to bring them back to this page. So sometimes they get kind of lost and they're like, I don't have any more work. If they click on home and they come back here, they should be able to see what they have. Um, when they actually click on it, so like we're identifying parts of speech, and this is a test account, so it hasn't done anything yet. But they'll see, okay, they're working to master. And so like right now, it's going to say begin, and you'll see that these others are locked. Until they master one skill, the next one's not going to become unlocked. So they'll begin. They have the option to go through the lesson, which teaches them about the topic. If they're struggling, they need to do that. So if it's a, if they're having trouble, they're not getting the answers right, they need to go back and look through the lesson. And so if they click on that, it kind of reminds them, okay, what is a noun? Um, different types of nouns, okay? And we're specifically focusing on this one on concrete nouns, so nouns that are like physical things. Um, once they are done with that, they just click off and then they can go to the practice and it's just going to go through a series of questions. So select the noun in this sentence. So we select it, submit answer. It tells us if we're correct, select the noun and it says nouns. So there may be more than one. So um, Las Vegas, we have to select both words because it's one place. It's a city. So we need to select both and submit our answer. Um, same thing, Mr. Fisher, we need to select both. Um, teenagers, St. Louis is a place, and to visit Baj Kuther Pali. When they first picked this, they got to select topics that they were interested in, so it tries to like bring those into their sentences. So like I picked Big Bang Theory, which is where the Raj Cooper Holly comes from because that's one of my favorite shows. So you'll see, they'll see stuff pop up that is um, interesting to them. And then that shows, okay, level one complete. And then you'll see right up here, that shows that I've got one star. They have to fill all four stars to show mastery of the skill. Once they've mastered the skill, it's going to have a green, the, the circle is going to change green and have a check mark in it. And that means that they have mastered it. And that's what I have them going for. I want them working towards mastery before they move on to the next skill. So they'll just keep answering these until they get all the way to that mastery. And they can take a break because what might happen is even before they've mastered it, some others might open up. So... Okay, so down here I've got level one advanced that's opened up and everything else is still locked. I recommend working on one skill until they have actually mastered that one skill and then they go on to the next one and work on mastery towards it. When they have mastered and filled all those stars, that's when it changes to the green circle with the check mark in it and that's how they know they've mastered that skill. I know it seems like a lot, um, but it's it takes a lot of practice to master these skills. And so each one is a different um, topic as they go through each section. So it's starting off with nouns, it moves into adjectives, it moves into adverbs. So we're focusing on all different parts of speech. It moves into conjunctions and pronouns and prepositions. So that's what this whole section focuses on. Um, and you can see that it showed it was 2% complete. There's 12 topics in identifying parts of speech. And then here is the quiz. There's 30 questions. 
I wouldn't do the quiz until they've mastered all of the topics. Otherwise, they're probably not going to score very high on the quiz. Um, eventually, it'll start to show like their practice average. And if they take multiple quizzes, it would show their quiz average. Right now, I've only got this assignment on here. They have done um, components of a sentence as well. So theirs probably is going to show more information, but I have asked them to go ahead at this point and move on to the identifying parts of speech. So even if they didn't quite finish, however, if they finish this and they want to go back and try to work on the components of, or the components of a sentence, then um, they're welcome to do that. But I'd rather them be focusing on this part right now. Um, if you have any questions, again, contact me on Seesaw. Just let me know. Um, hopefully, this is a skill that will help them to improve as writers. Have a great day. Thank you.